That's an excellent representation of you of your city government. Maybe you'll have a change of heart. Do you, maybe he won't. Do you like your job? I'm here, aren't I? Would you like to keep it? I think so. All right, then maybe start answering questions when the people come in and ask them. I don't know who you think you are or what made you think you could get up, walk into this office, and accept a paycheck from the people. But when someone from this community walks in here and asks a question of you, you answer it or you get out. Oh, okay, thanks. Hi, could you check with the city manager's office, please, before you put people on camera? I could, but I won't. Thanks, man. I didn't come in here giving you directives, so you can go back to what you're doing. Bianco is very helpful, man. It Thank would, you. It wouldn't really matter if we were carrying a camera or not carrying a camera. We would be coming into this department the same and asking Yes, the same but you're questions. videotaping people, and some of them don't want to be videotaped. Could should you be, check with the city manager's office? For permission? Should I Should I be? Yeah, I believe I should. So. Oh, is that a law? Yeah, Can you do me a favor? Can you check with the city manager's office before you come up to me when I have a camera? Could you Thanks, man. Check with them? I could, but I won't. Thanks, okay. though. Thank Just you. Because You're you welcome. Say, Please, sir, doesn't mean that you come off any less rude. Okay, but you know what? People don't want to be videotaped, so do you okay. care about their their Ten. choices? They don't want to be videotaped. If they are videotaped. working for the people, then they need to work for the people. Ted, what's that? Exactly. What's right. that, Ted? What, what's up on the? They don't want to be videotaped, but you got a camera right there, Dave. Yeah, it's a security camera. Security. You seem to be awfully worried about, you know, security. not just your security, but the city's security. Right. What about the city's security and the well, constituent security when it came to the, you, the health department getting hacked? Ask the city manager. You can ask me to do it. Okay. No, please. Because you're stupid by yourself. I, I've been told that, yes. I, I can imagine you've been told that. It would I make sense that you've been told that. Yes. It's good that people are honest with you. Yes. That's right. great. So how long have you been, you know, defrauding people and not giving service in the city of Lowell? It's just the only ones that are holding a camera? No. No, but if we, get, if we have a camera, then we don't get service. He said it's uh, not I, just the I said, how can I help you today, sir? I just want to know. Let's start again. Would, would you like Hello? to? Hello. I would just like to know. Are you applying for a permit? Would I would just, like, I don't know. What, all I want to know is this. I have two simple questions. What services this I office provides the community? your question. So you're asking I'm me. stupid. You, I, you are stupid. Then I am not going to answer your question. But you didn't answer my questions before I called I you stupid, care. which is why I called you stupid. I, I, never I am called not called you stupid, and I said, uh, hopefully, he has I'm, a change of heart. I'm and not, you say, I, sir, and you say, no, I won't. You ask me how you can help me. Then when I tell you how you can help me, you tell me to beat it. Sir, I am not going to answer your questions. You can stand there yeah, yeah, all day. You're going to answer our questions. You know what I mean? No, I am not. 100%. You know what I mean? No, I am not. I promise you. Man, crazy. We go out and we meet up with um, Cameron Morrisberger, a reporter from the Lowell Sun, and we have an abundance of phenomenal interactions with some hardworking employees. Then we come across Ted and John that absolutely collectively lose it. Watch it here, follow up with it in the Lowell Sun. We'll catch you on the next one, and that's the reason we stopped you today. Bye. What's going on, guys? We're at the Lowell City Hall in Lowell, Massachusetts. And I'm with Banana Anna, but today we have uh, a special guest. Here's Banana Anna, but this is a new face. Hi, um, oh, Cameron Morrisberger with the Lowell Sun. Just here, following them along today in Lowell City Hall, just to observe the observe the process. And you wrote a fantastic article. Article. The link will be pinned inside the description of this video. What piqued your interest to kind of do a story on First Amendment auditors? Yeah, so I was just seeing some of the, the conversation um, in the local area, um, and I know the Boston Globe did a story earlier, and I noticed that you two had uh, visited some of the local towns that we cover at the Sun, so I thought it would be an interesting article for our readers to understand kind of the process um, and what you guys do. So. And I will say, your article is uh, far less biased. You're actually, you know, like a subjective reporter i mean of course i believe that you, you, you know, the first amendment is paramount to what you do um so for folks that are kind of opposite saying you know this is antagonistic how do you do you think there's any way possible that an audit could be you know helpful uh with the first amendment does that strengthen people's rights yeah so transparency is something that you know is a a strong integral part of, of journalism and what you do so i understand that you know this is an important thing for people to understand what's happening in their local communities and also for you to exercise your rights as well, you know, to understand what this looks like, um, you know, this process. Um, so. And this also looks like what a real reporter is, John Hillard, if you wanted to take some notes uh, at the Boston Globe. He's a good friend of mine. <laughs> Do you guys want to take a look? All right, let's go through. 
John, uh, I wasn't able to get to our weekly Jenga meeting, but I'll be there next week for our Jenga meeting. <laughs> I did have to run in to go to the bathroom real quick. And I think someone recognized me, but I'm not sure. I've never been here before. And I have some business here today. I've got to do some records requests. morning you helped me help me find the bathroom and you were wonderful well good i'm glad I'm such glad. a big building i would have never found it on my own is, isn't it a gorgeous building what do they hide the bathroom downstairs well they keep it downstairs because a lot of people come in on the elevator and it's just more convenient uh, if they can't come up the stairs you know so it, it works out well i, I you know we find the bathroom too see, I see I'm you're good at that. the face <laughs> of the place the director of first impressions i know where that is the director of first impressions you like that we got to get your plaque. Are you visiting? Uh, we are, just for the next few minutes, yeah. Where, where are you from? Uh, I'm from the area. Oh, you are? Sometimes here, is sometimes this a there. Is this what you're doing? I'm sorry? Is this a camera? Is this, this yeah, this doing? is a camera, and that's a camera, and that's a camera, too. <laughs> we wanted to show how beautiful you are as, on as many angles as possible. That's a camera. I don't think it's on. Can you stand it? Can you stand it? Now, were you from a television, or is this your own? Do you do programs? Are you from a college? Uh, no, I'm, I'm independent. I'm an investigative journalist, just gathering some content for a story today. Investigative journalist. How is that? Right. Sometimes. Well, do you freelance? <laughs> are, are you freelancing? Um, I'm self-employed. So, yeah, okay. I mean, I kind of freelance, yeah. Okay. That's pretty How am I doing? Am I doing okay? Hey, I'm good. All right, <laughs> perfect. I'm you today. Yes. Usually I bring out my camera and someone likes to, like, you know, tase me or something oh, of the like. Oh, they do. I don't know why. I'm so nice. Yeah. What's your name? Peggy Hassett. Peggy. It is an absolute pleasure to meet Same you. Same here. I hope everyone else is as nice as you today. Well, I hope so, too. I hope they're as pleasant and just give me the opportunity to say hello. Thank you so much. Yeah, and good, good luck with you. Scale of 1 to 10, doing good day checks. One, the worst day possible, you're stuck at the registry and you don't have a cell phone. That's the worst. 10, you're on an island somewhere. What, okay. what, are, you, what are you having? I'm going to tell you, when you wake up and open your eyes and you can see, and you can speak and hear your own voice, and you can breathe, that's a 10. Yeah. Okay. So every day I wake up is a 10. What if you're blind and deaf and you can't see or hear your own well, voice? Well, if that's the best you can be, it's a Live your best Live life, your best right? Life. I love it. Okay, you're good. Enjoy it Thank all. you so much. The other departments that are not here at this building, um, like for the School health department is on um, Little, um, Merrimack Street. And the health department. The health department. Um, I, I can give you their addresses. That would be great. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, have you heard <coughs> of anything like, going on? You know what? I come in on Wednesday. I have the best job in the whole world. Pleasant people like you come in. Everybody's I love nice that. to me. How can and you I know the people, like Wednesday see you. They're having a great day. Uh, like that? Thanks. I'm going to give you the... Thank there you so is. much, dear. I'm really not up on a lot of things. Oh, no, that's all right. I just didn't know we would have anything there. No. Apparently, like, they're hard to reach. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, I, I don't have that problem. Okay. You, you know, I've had people come in and ask questions about... Well, I was going to call them and ask them myself, but they were kind of hard to reach. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think it's 155 on Max Street. Okay. Yeah, we'll find right it. In that building, you'll find all of those. The career uh, center is down that way, but they're all on the left-hand side going okay. down. But I've had times where people come in looking for something. I don't have a telephone here, okay. but I will... Have you, have you ever had someone come in... Seeking assistance because they've had trouble getting a hold of the health department? Never. Okay. Never. No, I, I've never had And that do you problem. feel that, you know, if you had to deal with the health department, that your information would be safe and secure with them? Why would I not? Well, they had so a little... They didn't let you know? Oh, they didn't let you know. They, they didn't want to let many people know, but they had a little bit of a hacking issue recently. And they apparently don't I want hope to you don't this. have Harvard Pilgrim if you hold your breath. Because Harvard Pilgrim has got a huge 
hacking issue on a lot of their information. I mean, do we live in that kind of world? I guess we do. Yeah. Well, yeah. we live in a kind of world where I've been tased for free speech, so. Well, this we kind live of... in that kind of world where the city hall should know that the health department is getting hacked, but they don't, they're not aware. I, I'm oh, going to ask. I say that. Oh, okay. Oh, they... oh, I would never say that. Okay. I would right. never say that. Okay. I'm just saying I have never they, had an issue contacting the health department. Okay. You know, All right. Well, thank you very much. You're an absolute you dear. You as well. <coughs> thank you for being so helpful. No, there's nothing negative about you. You're perfect. You're wonderful. Yeah. Thanks for doing such a great job today. She's so nice. Yeah. Oh, the treasurer's office. This is where they collect the Oh. Oh, push to open. I'm not great at instructions. Yeah. Hello. I'm just going to take a look around. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Is your name Danny? It is. I want to pause for a second. Oh, you go do your thing. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. We're, we're over here. Thank you. I know that guy was just saying hi. How are you? How are you? Are you having a good day today? Oh, what you, what's your name? My name is Bianca. Bianca. What do you do here, Bianca? I'm a head clerk. I collect taxes for the city of Lowell. Collect taxes? Excellent. And those taxes are allocated for different resources to help the city funds. city funds yeah. and those go to specific city funds or do those go to help all the public buildings i would say i mean i'm not entirely sure uh city funds different projects throughout the city and is that money allocated to security resources for the for the city like you know protecting uh constituents information stuff like that um, i personally wouldn't know i would recommend going up to the city manager's office oh i'd love to yeah. I, I just want to see which money has been allocated um to the health department because they were recently I hacked, so. No. Oh, okay, thanks. Right. Could you check with the city manager's office, please, before you put people on camera? I could, but I won't. Thanks, man. I didn't come in here giving you directives, so you can go back to what you're doing. Bianco is very helpful, man. It Thank would, you. It wouldn't really matter if we were carrying a camera or not carrying a camera. We would be coming into this department the same and asking. Yes, the same but you're questions. videotaping people, and some of them don't want to be videotaped. Could should you check with the city should manager's you office? For permission? Should I? Should I be? Yeah, I believe. I should. So. Oh, is that a law? Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you check with the city manager's office before you come up to me when I have a camera? Could you Thanks, check man. With them? I could, but I won't. Thanks, okay. though. Thank Just you. Because You're you welcome. Say please, sir, doesn't mean that you come off any less rude. Okay, but you know what? People don't want to be videotaped, so do you care okay. about their their Ted. Choices? They don't want to be videotaped. If they are for the people, then they need to work for the people. Ted, what's that? Exactly. What's right. that, Ted? What, what's up on the? They don't want to be videotaped, but you got a camera right there, Dad. Yeah, it's a security camera. Security. You seem to be awfully worried about, you know, security. not just your security, but the city's security. Right. What about the city's security and the well, constituent security when it came to the, to the health department getting hacked? Ask the city manager. You can ask me to do 10 jumping jacks, but I'm declining. There's no problem here. Okay. Maybe if you guys took as much care well, about I'll people's right information. Back, that? That's fine. It's interesting. You can, you can come back never if you want. Any concern about the questions that we were asking and he comes right. in here trying to like make a problem. I'm sorry about that, Bianca. So You've been very, very helpful by the Thank way. You. How long have you worked here? Um, it's a little three years. Three years. And do you like it? Good job? Good benefits? Yeah. And are you from Lowell originally? Uh, no. No. And just so you know, you don't have to answer our questions. Like you already answered I'm just trying to get a feel for who you are. So if you don't want to answer more than like personal questions, you, you can just say, yeah. I just always like to ask people if they work for the city, like, are they from the city? Just, you know, to get a sense, because a lot of times people love the city so much, they go to work for it. So thanks so much, Bianca. You have I a great the day. Domes. They're so cute. Do you have, do you have one for each holiday? Trying anyway? Try, oh, you got a lot of gnomes to collect. Mm -hmm. Like major holidays are like oh so there's the Memorial Day gnome right oh you or, or Fourth of July depending on like you know your things gonna be stacked. She's got Valentine's Day right there and then St Patrick's Day for sure. So cool. She's gotta get more notes. Thanks so much, Bianca. Thank I'm you. I'm sorry I have to work with Ted. He seems like he's a little bit of a grumpy Gus. The wrong side of the bed. Ted woke up on the wrong side of the bed. 
Ted did, yeah. Good old Ted. Theodore. So, folks, just so you know, um, you have to check in with the city manager, and you have to ask when and where you can exhibit your God-given American rights. So just make sure that you ask. This gentleman was so nice. I met him already. Have a good day. Yeah, Thanks, man. Thank just, you. I, I had, oh, this is the... We have a, an office here? <laughs> oh, my... Hold on. My name. My name. My name's on the door. Oh, okay. Perfect. <clears throat> no, it was just like really rude. It did like, you know, we weren't in there being rude. We were in there being very nice. So there was just no need for it. Enjoying your morning coffee? Is that your first cup of the day? First cup coffee of the day is the best cup of coffee. It definitely. Now we're just taking a look around. Thanks so much. Really appreciate your help. All right. It's a nice oh, let me get out of your way there, dear. I love your jean dress there. You're ready for summer, huh? I don't know, but you are, and you're doing great. Look at that. Thanks very much, folks. You have a great day. See, why? Wow, it's just, it's so interesting to me, and, and I've been doing this for so long that, you know, you walk into one office and everyone is smiling, helpful. Um, there is. And what's interesting to me is, I can bet you that if that's not a volunteer position that that young lady has at the front desk, right. it's a very low paying, probably, as I, said, I wonder, I'm going to do a records request. I want to see how much Ted makes, because... When you're getting paid that much money from the city, like money that could be allocated to make sure that your health information isn't hacked. Like, okay, so safety and security, that's secondary to your First Amendment rights, which clearly Ted doesn't have a respect for. I think Walter put in a compliment for Bianca, because in the high stressful situation that one of the yeah. staff members created, she stayed calm. Bianca was great. She sure was. And then she continued to talk to us. Yeah. Yeah. You are just, oh, I love it. You too. Well, there's some, fo I have to do a records request, but there's some folks in there and I got the camera. There's a little baby, so I'm going to come back. Hello. How you doing? Beautiful. Oh, that was really pretty. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. What is this office here? Hi. Hello. Hi. They didn't give you a door sign. No. But you look like such a nice guy. They didn't give you a big sign like they gave everyone else? Not yet. Well, we should, what's your name? Brendan. Brendan. Very nice to meet you, Brendan. Yeah. What do you do here? I'm only asking because they didn't give you a sign. Um, the ARPA Finance Manager. The what? ARPA Finance Manager. What does that do? American Rescue Plan Act. Oh, very good. So you're doing some hard work in this office. Well, thank you very much. We need, a sign. we need to get you a sign. And thank you for being so nice. We walked in and, you know, spoke to Ted the same way, and mm -hmm. he kind of freaked out on us a little bit. Well, you know, it's a, unnerving at times when people show up with cameras. But you're so nice, and you're calm. You know, you're collective. How were you able to see the camera and then maintain your professionalism? Well, it's my job to interact with the public and try to give you honest answers, I guess. So I'm just doing the best I can. And another honest answer. Yeah. Thank you so much. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Oh, I, lo I like your mug. Is that a... Oh, that's cool. Is that a board game or something? Yeah, my husband does the fundraising. Help the fundraising. Well, that's so nice. We great people in this office. You know what I love about this office? What's that? Even though they have like a, a red light kind of right here, right here. Red light. Oh, oh the keypad, light. yeah. Even though they have that, the office door is wide open, and open they're door ready policy. and willing to talk to anybody that comes by. It's so nice. Yeah, thank you. A lot of the times we see that light, and then people don't want to talk to the mm -hmm. public whatsoever, and which they can. I mean, it's a locked door, but I love the open door policy. I think it's fantastic. Again, you run into a lot of folks that are lost or right. Right. trying to find the right place to go. It's a big building. If we can help, that's what we Thank you so much, and uh, you know I think that maybe on lunch break, have a talk with Ted and give him a few pointers. Because if Ted was responding to the public the way you are, 
then we'd have a great experience. Okay. Thank you so much. You're See, like, and that's like when we break down the word of an audit. What is an audit, right? It's to take a look at something and to see what folks are doing right, and if they're doing right, we praise them on what they're doing right, and if they're doing something wrong, we try and see if we can find ways to fix it. I don't have to tell them what they're doing wrong. All I have to do is show the camera on, on this gentleman here. He showed what Ted did wrong. We have a green light here. Yeah, right. Hello, yes, sir. How are you today? How are you? Good, thanks. I was just wondering what the assessor's office does for the community. <laughs> Is that that's kind of like a loaded question, is it? <laughs> that's why he gave. I know you got a lot more work than a one-word answer, but I'm just trying to get an understanding here. <laughs> Thank on. you. That's why he giggled. Yeah, I guess I, that might be like if someone was like, "What is an auditor?" I would not be able to answer that in one word. Well, you know, we were playing Guess Who the other day, and uh, my kid asked him a very broad no, question, and he thought that was cheating. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. How are you, dear? Good. Who are we recording for? I'm recording for her. And for him. And okay. for and us. Her. And her. Okay. I just was curious, um, you know, if, if it's for the public, or I, which I'm happy to do. Yeah, no, I'm just doing a, a story. Okay, um, for all the people. Based on all the people. what services okay. that all are... All the people or all the people? Oh, all the people. Oh, okay. Worldwide. So, yeah, for, so the assessing department is responsible for the fair and equitable assessment of all real estate and personal property for the city of Lowell. Um, Every assessing office in the state of Massachusetts is responsible for the same things. So we re for the same individual areas for their for respective their cities or mean okay correct. So we um, reassess anew by state law annually. So as of January first, we um, is the assessment date, which is, precedes the start of a fiscal year. So our fiscal year is going to start July one, which is fiscal twenty four. Um, we're going to be using valuation. A date of one one twenty three. Okay. And the sales data that we're using, we're working on it now, and it takes me all year. I'm not to populate, of course. Uh, yeah, to, to to review those and um, come up with good da data. Data. So um, I'm used. We're working on it now. We use the sales that occurred in the calendar year twenty twenty two to do that. Okay. So we do that every year, and then the other things. So we're responsible for that, which is is a big job. Um, we reassess, we do, um, we also make sure that our data on our property record cards are correct because good data gives good assessments. Mm -hmm. So I have staff that's out in the field. Um, they do cyclical inspections. Those are also state mandated. We review, visit every property once every 10 years. Um, we also visit all building permits, sales, um, appeals. So if somebody is not happy with their value, they, they should come see me. They, that occurs in January. We review that assessment and um, we'll send somebody out to look at the property at that time. So this is a, for all intents and purposes, a very full-time job. How long have you been the chief assessor? I've been the chief assessor here for one year. I started in May of 2022, 17 years as an assessor in Massachusetts. So my name's Ellen. I'm, yeah. Nice so to I've meet been you. Here. Nice to meet you both. And so we do that. But we also do a lot of other things. We also manage all of the exemption um, programs for our elderly, our veterans, disabled veterans, and um, blind widows. So those are all those are also oh, managed by, the, by this office. Um, additionally, we manage all excise tax abatements. So motor vehicle excise tax is also a part of you know. Com so right. all the money kind right. of starts with us. We do the taxes for real estate, personal property, and then motor vehicle. Now, if someone has an excise, say they, they miss their excise tax. We had the, you know, everyone's been kind of out of the funk for the past couple of years. Yeah. Say someone wasn't able to pay their excise tax and they accrue penalties because, they you know, that can right, mount that up. Does happen. If they reach out to you, is there a way that they can try and relieve some of the penalties? Unfortunately, no. Massachusetts law, and that would not actually be with me. That would be with the treasurer collector, but Mass law does not allow you responsible for paying your taxes. Right. So the treasurer collector can um, he can't forgive for one person there is the only exemption program for motor vehicle is that disabled veteran who has a um, and also for paraplegic um, if that they now, have you seen a lot of folks that have had that type of issue not real no not to speak okay. of at all no people okay. pay their excise tax bill they do right. come to us if they've sold their vehicle they're entitled to a refund we process those refunds here Ellen so, thank you so much you've answered all welcome. our questions and that's why he laughed and I was like can you give me a quick summation and I was like <laughs> clearly not a one-word answer <laughs> way much more to it 
Well, and it is. It's like way more to it. Um, and I'm always happy to talk about what we do here because you it do is a great job. Is what you do here. Need to understand that this is truly knowing what's on their property record card, knowing how their real estate tax bills are cre created. Um, they want to. They want to know that. And well, I'm you don't know what you don't know because you, know, you get a new home and you you, you think your well, biggest struggle is going to be yeah. moving in. So that's and then, my first question: Are you a new homeowner? Are you a new homeowner in Massachusetts, or have you done this for a hundred years and you know more than I do? So, right. there you go. <laughs> well, there I can't you. imagine many people call or show up knowing more than you do. No, I don't know about that. You Maybe have a great day. You're great at your job and it shows. Thank, Thank you so you. much, yep. Ellen. Have a good one and stay you it's too. Be gorgeous out. So yeah, take care. Thank you. Thank you. See, it's a, it's a shame that we had that interaction with Ted because what I'm seeing is is that every single other office we've went into, everyone has been really nice. And the only reason Ted was not... And here's the thing. I didn't even question Ted. I didn't even put him on camera. He made it a point to go out of his way to come up to me, to interrupt me, to tell me I couldn't exhibit my First Amendment right while I was having a consensual conversation with a member of the, the public team that was being nothing short of helpful. It's really concerning. Hello, how are you? I would like to fill out a commendation or compliment for Bianca uh, in the treasurer's office. Can we do that? Or can maybe I can just let the... At the treasurer's office? Did you talk to her department head? Yeah. Well, that's the other part of my records request. I did speak to her department head, Ted. Yeah. And I was having a great interaction with her. And then he came out and told me that it was illegal to film and to be able to do that. I needed to go check with the city administrator. So I wanted to fill a compliment Whoa. for her, and I wanted to do a records request for Ted. Okay. Right. Well, and my concern Just is if coffee. we do the com no. compliment for Bianca, we need a because she went yeah. Uno? above and beyond, yeah. you don't even want though the department head kind of seemed, well, not kind of, he was very... Um, very angry guy. Yes, um, very rude. I, I don't want that. the compliment to get lost yeah. somewhere because he's Baby. mad now Baby. at Bianca yeah. because she was doing her job. Does that make sense? Yeah. So is there you a can way we can we send it up to the city manager? Oh right. Okay. Perfect. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Piece of paper? I'm doing. Well, I'm doing my records request right now. Okay. Do you and want then another I, piece of paper? I here? got another one right here for a compliment because you. you guys are phenomenal. Well, you know what? I would probably need a bigger one for her because she did such a great she big did job. A great job. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah. I cannot believe that. And she's the subordinate. He's the supervisor. That's and what and I'm the, she was just fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you so much. Her getting in trouble for doing her job, you know? And that was the department you head. Okay. And you said it's going to the city manager? Well, you could send it to the city manager if we're not. All right. Don't want to send it to her. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Folks, I did a records request. I put the name's date. Uh, I just asked for the full name, dates of employment, and salary for Ted in the collector's office. I've signed good citizen and my email address for them to send it electronically. And guys, you don't have to give like your name, um, you know, your date of birth, your address. You're literally good citizen, whatever moniker you choose to go by, and a good contact method. Um, if you pick it up in paper, they do charge you. That's why I suggest folks always collect their records request electronically. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, so what we'll do is I'm going to time stamp them in, and then they'll be referred to the law department. Okay. And then they'll be on the... That's fine. You got, you got 10 days. That's fine. Um, no, thanks. I got an electronic copy, digital copy here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Congratulations. 
Thank you. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Get married? Yeah. Enjoy the honeymoon. Congratulations. Get married. Is it T-H-E-A-F-A-R-C-R-E-W at gmail.com? The AFA Crew. A-F-A-C-R-E-W. Yes, ma'am. Please give Bianca a compliment on behalf of We the People. She was fantastic at her job at answering all of our questions correctly and efficiently. She's a pleasure to be working in the tax office. Thank you, We the People. That's phenomenal. I think, I think that's, that's great. great. Yes. And, and it showcases. Are you going to do one for me, too? Huh? Are you going to do one for me, too? Oh, you I just... think I was pretty phenomenal. She's better than the kids at guilt tripping. I mean, she's good. She gave the eyes and everything, you know. What's your name? Angela. Angela, so I everyone, and you know, we're gonna get so but folks. It, Angela is doing a great job. If you, the people, along with we, the people, think she's doing a great job, you can redress your um, happiness, not grievances, right. to the city and tell them she's doing a great job. Yeah. Thank you. That'll be seen more than that will. Thanks, Angela, for being so nice. Has do you know? Do you know Ted? I do. Has he been grumpy a long time? Is that like a today thing? So maybe it was just like the wrong side of the bed. He's having a bad day. He didn't take his grumpy pills. He's a gr- Ted needs a new bed. A grumpy Saurus Rex, I'm telling you. I thought they were extinct, but they're not. Ted's in there. <laughs> Ted's in there. All right, well, thank you, Angela. You're a wonder. Thank you. Thank you. Angela's so great. Yeah, she was really good at guilt trip. So we're going to have to go upstairs um, because we have to go to the... Thanks very much, and you're absolutely right. It was not a one-answer question. <laughs> I have to go to the Nazi checkpoint and find out where I'm supposed to um, waive my Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my persons, my papers, and effects in order to practice the First Amendment um, so I can make sure I check in correctly. So I don't know. Maybe we should go to... I don't like to step on toes. Maybe we go to the city manager's office first, and then we go to the mayor's office. Yeah. Over his desk. A little turtle. <laughs> I don't know if we do we enter here. Okay. We enter. Enter right here. Hello. I was wondering if the city manager is available. He is. Um, I had to stop at the Nazi checkpoint and ask permission to use my First Amendment right in the town hall. Where do I sign up for my rights? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's a beautiful office. Oh, see, that's where they usually go mute. No more response. That's a very nice office. That's got a do not enter in person. Yeah. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. I, I was told I'm not allowed to film without seeking permission, so I just came to get um, like my permission to be able to use my rights. Oh, Ted to... Yeah, oh, we're good? Fine. That's what I would have said, but Ted told us that we were breaking the law and that we needed to seek permission. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of something? Yeah, no, go, dude, you're fine. No, you you're were very busy. You I just wanted to see if the city fine. manager was here he, so we could... He's in a meeting. He's, oh, she didn't tell us. I thought she was going to check on him, but she got yeah, back on the phone. On. Okay, I'm, thank you. I'm, I'm he's still in a meeting? Okay, okay all right. Beautiful blouse, by the way. Thank you so much. Um... Could I just maybe give like my name, my social security number, my birth date, and the names of my children, just so you guys have all my information while I'm expressing my rights here today? I'm sorry, I don't, don't know. Oh no! So well, we were just told that we had to seek permission from this specific office to be able to use our God-given rights and our, our American rights. She said yes, but Ted. So it was Ted was wrong then. So it seems like Ted, how much money a year do you know does he get paid to give false information about the very first amendment, the building block of the Constitution? I'm sorry, I don't have an answer to my question. It's fine. What's your name? Leticia. Leticia? You're very, very helpful. Thank you, Leticia. Hi. Hello. How are you? Are you the, what do you do here? My name's Connor. I'm the chief financial officer. The what's CFO. It? Okay. Yeah. What's Perfect. Your name? Uh, my name is Good Citizen. Mm, yeah. Doesn't sound like a name. 
You it is. Have you heard of Good Citizen? No, is that like a website? That's no, no, I'm just I'm just a good, happy citizen, you know. Okay. I wanted to. We just came in to get uh, to check in. Uh, Ted told us that we weren't allowed to film in, in the city hall no, unless we got space, permission. So perfect, and I don't know if this is your you can't purview. Go into any private space? Of course, like a yeah. 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 We're right, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't. Want I don't want to be going to the restroom. That would be a bad. <laughs> That is not a public space. Right. Of, yeah, no, we, we know limited public forum is, is definitely a restroom. Right. But so I wanted to know whose purview is the oversight of Ted to make sure that next time he's not giving like that information to people. Ted works for me. Ted works for you. Yes. Did you have a discussion with Ted? I did. Okay. Perfect. So, okay. And next time, like, even if like, listen, I understand you know, it's 2023. Who knows what's going on in the world today? But even if he has a question, he could simply come up and say, excuse me. I don't know the answer to this question. I'm not sure if you're allowed to film. Do your thing. Let me just go check in with my supervisor. Then that shows a supervisor that's in a situation that he does not know. And then he wants to try and get some answers and some coaching and focusing from his supervisors. That's not what Ted did. Ted immediately told us that we were breaking the law. He demanded that we leave the office. He instructed another employee not to answer our questions. And then he said to be able to continue filming, we had to come up here so it was not just misinformation it was rude do you think that we could do some remedial training to help work on on ted's attitude and well i think for the city we all need to understand um the rights of the citizens and but also the employees our employees have rights too not to be confronted in the workplace um, well can you extrapolate on what you mean by confronted so i have a better understanding well there all of the employees here are doing a job. Of course they are. And so they need Most to of them a great job, by the way. Yeah, they're yeah. doing a great job, especially in the treasurer's office. They need to be able to focus on the customers. Um, and were you there to do business? Are you, are you here to pay taxes? Yeah, or no, 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 not here, not here to pay taxes. So what, to... what business did you have to be in the, the well, treasurer's the, office? For we the people's business. And also, uh, we had questions for that office specifically. There was nothing... Yeah inappropriate for the questions that we were asked. What were the questions? Basic questions that would have led to our records mm-hmm. request that we filled out afterwards. We got the answers because okay. we also, do you have the compliment form? Uh, no, oh, she's here. Yeah. We did a, a records request on Ted, but he also did a compliment for Bianca because before Ted's unprofessionalism, during Ted's unprofessionalism, mm-hmm. and after Ted's unprofessionalism, Bianca answered all of our questions is a, and she a was phenomenal and that yeah. was our concern because he was so hostile and a little worked up um we, we didn't want to hand that compliment into him because after he had left and was less confrontational because he was gone okay. she continued to answer our questions and do her job appropriately yeah. i don't want her being disciplined or anything like that because she continued to do her job you know, we've I seen that. Yeah, we've seen that before, where the person that's the head of the department gets mad at the the worker that works underneath them because they're doing their job. Oh, I wouldn't expect that in this so, case. So, well, Correct. that but you know, we didn't want to hand that off to Ted because of because he was so upset. Mm-hmm. We didn't know if it was going to get somehow lost in translation and never get that compliment <laughs> to her. So, yeah. we made sure to turn it into oh, the clerk's office. Angela was phenomenal too. Angela. I'll tell you one thing. Besides Ted, mm-hmm. everyone that we've met in this building, especially the young lady we met when we first walked in, has been the absolute mm-hmm. epitome of professionalism. Well, that is great. So, I'm really glad to hear that. That's yeah. right. And you know, I know some of these videos, things get lost in translation. There was a, a very negative moment, but it should be noticed that you know, if, you, if we meet 15 employees in six different offices and 14 out of 15 do a, not just a good job but a great job and go mm-hmm. above, the, above the bar, that's reflective of good training. I know right. that Lowell has had quite a bit of cameras on them for the past couple of years and my camera being one of those. So they did a great job. So we wanted to fill out a compliment as right. well as a records request and a complaint because with the little bit of bad, there was quite a bit of good. So I, mm-hmm. I thank you. It sounds like you did that. Maybe I'm missing. Yeah. Yeah, we did a compliment. So you know how to communicate with the city. We have a form, uh, like yeah, a customer feedback it. form. Is well, she didn't. Yeah, about? so she, she didn't, didn't have one, one of those. So we wrote online. it down. It's online. Okay. Uh, well, that's we some, don't, well, I don't typically like to do online just because I, I mean, can get lost. Remember what happened? No, with the it doesn't health? get lost. We well, see remember also. what happened with so, the So, so I mean, do you think that? On, well, so online, do you think that the city of Lowell has a pretty good handle on on online, um, you know, response and security? We, 
I'm not sure what you're asking. Well, no, you said like, I, so uh, my concern is if I fill out something online, anything, it's going to get lost. There's you said a it form wouldn't get lost. Through a website called Civic Plus that we use that gets communicated to the people who are. So set Lowell up on has the good, end. a good control of their online arena as far as their forms and their security and all that stuff. We have those forms that come to the appropriate uh, department heads or supervisors. For things like customer service. Okay. Well, you're the CFO for the city. Yeah. Um, so did you know if maybe as part of that great online service, at the hacking, at the health department, if anyone's financial information was, at was obtained? Department? Right. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're talking about with the health department. Well, so there was a hacking, and they've kind of kept it on the down low, and they didn't want to talk You've about it. You've made several public communications about what happened. What happened? Could you, could, so could you tell me to a, a layman that might have less understanding? There was a cybersecurity incident that occurred where, um, you know, the, the MIS department discovered that someone had uh, accessed the system inappropriately, and so they shut everything down. All right. Okay. How yes. long did it take from when the system was compromised to when they shut it down? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. Well, because um, they, they didn't really want to answer questions. I know some great folks at uh, the health department. They, they were not... But the health department didn't... They, were not they don't for manage uh, information security, so I don't know why you would ask because the health they, department. Well, because they were well, it was from their department. It from no, their it wasn't. Department. No, I don't know who gave you that information. Could you tell me who gave you that information? That it was the no, I, 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 I'm pretty good at protecting my sources. Yeah. But you're using it as information. Well, I'm, ask, I'm, ask, I'm asking you. And it's, you're it's giving inaccurate. me your answer. Okay. It's inaccurate. It's inaccurate. Yeah. But then why is it that the health department refuses to... The health department is part... The city is a large network. Municipality, right? I understand. Right? And so, but the health department isn't the information security portal. No, I understand that, they but they have information in there. That, and the, my lead up to that question is you said, you know, the, a compliment form would, you know, get to where it was going, but the city in that case wasn't are, able to take totally care of their own systems. business. This is the point I'm making. But, it's who, but who oversees both systems? What do you mean? The who controls both systems? The system that was hacked right. and the system that receives compliments. So well, there, who, there is a chain of command in the city and everything. It's overseen by the city, right? So if the city could drop the ball one place, would it be a jump to think that they could drop the well, ball someplace else? I reject the premise of your, your question. So the health department is I can not explain to you how the, the customer feedback survey works. It's sure. through Civic Plus. It's a web-based system, uh, which is managed off-site with Civic Plus. They manage the websites for many um, municipalities. And so when you enter that form and enter your... The only information you give is your name, uh, an email contact, and then a there's like a submission box, and you can describe your interaction with a municipal employee. So my stuff's safe. If I give my email address, I'm not going to get like a box of Viagra in the mail or anything. Well, in the email. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to email. make you laugh. I'm not, I'm not sure why that's the example. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to make Well, I had some personal things I need to work on, but now it's out there in the open. So I just wanted to make you laugh. I'm not sure if that's something you want or don't want. The Viagra? Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends. If I fill out the compliment form, does it come? <laughs> no, I just, no. I just wanted to make you laugh because this can be a, you know, of course. tough but, and, you know. But these are these are CIP systems me, that are offsite. Okay. And so, you know, through Civic Plus, when someone submits one of these customer feedback surveys, uh, it gets routed to individuals that we select because. It's the same system for a citizen request. If you want right. to request that a pothole needs to be filled, you know, that needs insane. to go to public works. Right. So it needs to go to the right Be allocated to places, yeah. Uh, I, I the assume. customer feedback survey, those all come to the city manager's office because the city manager is the supervisor of all departments. I, I, so are you the third mayor, town administrator? Are you, are you kind of like the third? I'm the chief financial officer. So I oversee all of the, the finance departments. There's the city manager, gotcha, there's the chief okay. executive, there's an assistant city manager. We're a plan E form of government, which is a little bit different right. than uh, what you may be familiar with in other cities that has a mayor who's elected. Right. Now, I only have one other question for you, person. Sure. Um, so, the health department, circling back to that. Yep. Who oversees the health department? Is that the city? The health department is the department of the city, yes. Right. So, the city oversees what's going on with that department, correct? Okay. Correct. All right. And then, um, I guess I have a, a follow-up to that. Have, have you ever, do you live in the mall? Uh, that's for me to know. Well, you can ask me these 
Yeah, but that'd be questions. a see, I don't work. I know, I'll tell you where she lives. I'm open and transparent. She lives at her house. I do. With me. I do live in my house with him. That's true. With her. Well, I I think it does make a difference. You're interacting with city government, whether you are a citizen or not. So it doesn't really make a difference because, and to be to be totally courteous to you, you work in a public capacity and you're you're public facing and you receive a public paycheck. We do not. So it's your job to answer our questions. It's not our job to answer yours. Also, I think it's a two-way street. What seems concerning to me though is every time I seem to ask. A question that you don't like, you seem to then deflect with and a question. Start asking me questions about yeah, my personal I noticed that. being. You keep doing it. It's not about your personal being. Right. I asked which town if and you where lived I live, in Lowell. Right? And then you asked where I lived. I didn't ask where you lived. All right. You asked if I lived in Lowell, and then when I didn't give you the response that you wanted, then you got even more. But you didn't action. answer my question. And we're not if we're not from Lowell. Do we have to answer questions? And if we are from Lowell, are we safe from not answering questions? I, I was trying to make a point. To I was trying to make a point. And about I'm making a point. City I don't need to give up my rights to you. I don't. Because like whether we live here or we don't has no bearing on our Fourth Amendment right to be secure in our persons, papers, our facts, our Fifth Amendment right to be, you know, you know silent, and not answer questioning. It's just my question is, since you had such a great question, if I live in Lowell, I don't have to answer questions. If I live outside of Lowell, I do have to answer questions. Right, How does that work? Because he deflected my question with a question. So if I don't live in Lowell, or if I answer I don't live in Lowell, so if she doesn't live, if she doesn't questions. live in Lowell, she has to answer your questions. Oh, I didn't say that. I'm just very oh. confused. That why are you even asking me questions? Her favorite color is red. Uh, she enjoys That's pizza. Mine is blue, blue, That's, red, white, and blue. No, just blue. Just blue. I like red, white, and blue. You got my favorite color wrong. I know. I just, I'll pay it's for it. It's because his red? favorite color is red. I'll, I'll, it's mine. So I'm selfish. So because his favorite color is red, everyone else has Well, I feel like we know each other a lot better now. Yeah. I yeah. think we do. Hey, listen, it's a tough position to be in. I thank you for answering our questions. You didn't have to. You could have hid in the office. Right. Even, I'm not from Lowell, and I'm not going to answer most <laughs> of your I questions. Was a, I, I wasn't trying to dig at your personal information. Right. No, I get it. I get it. I appreciate it. You don't have to live in Lowell? I just get the... Did you want want a candy, man? Help yourself, brother. When I, you know, I asked... No, no, these are for the guests. No, well, they're... they're, they're I'm offering you one. Would you like one? No. Please, help yourself. thank you. Are you sure? (laughs) I I am. Are they they laced or something? (laughs) Come on. Uh Uh-oh. Of course not. It's a serum in there. You are safe to have one. If we have one, we will have to answer all of his questions. I will. That's why you sat there. I was going to invite you over for a party, but now that I don't know where you live, I guess we'll just... Housewarming party. I was going to do them, but they just moved our dumpsters. Yeah, that's true. Hey, listen, I appreciate it. Thanks for answering our questions. I don't want to shake your hand because my hand's got mic sweat on it. That's all right. Why did you do that with I was trying to drive it off. Oh, try it off. It's, uh, sorry. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate. Is are you related to that guy? No. No. You know what's funny though? Uh, John familiar. Flannery. I, I think it's this guy. Have you ever heard of? Um, oh, he was the wrestler. I'm gonna get this wrong, but uh, John Cena. That's his yes. name. Yeah. Uh, either this guy or this guy is. Look at. You can. You can fact check this on Wikipedia. I think it's this one. This one looks more like. That's related. His, uh, great great grandfather. Is, well, that makes sense because John Cena is a resident of West Newburyport. Well, this, looks, well, this looks more like mm. him than that guy, though. But thank you. Be that guy? Thank you very much, John Flannery and Sons. Appreciate your <laughs> no help relation. today. No, no relation. relation. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, Leticia. One right, of these guys. John Cena's. John see, he John Cena tried to help them cover up the uh, the health department thing, and he said, "You can't see me." You know, um, yeah, he's half decent. So that guy had to, so he had a little bit of a pushback, and, and and Banana was right. As soon as we got to an area or some grounding that he was uncomfortable with, he would combat with another question. <laughs> Greetings, salutations, Hi. howdy, partner. Hi. How you folks doing today? Oh, he did the peekaboo. You saw you had a couple computers there, huh? I can't deal with one computer. Good for you, man. Oh, you're right. You got all those computers in your writing? You know what? I had a job once where I had to deal with two monitors, and it was actually really nice. If I could have two monitors at home, so convenient. It seems confusing to like people who haven't had to. I like to even one for email and one for all the things I have to look at the research. It's nice. 
Especially is, um, we've got a lot of things going on in the south. Is the Marin? Um, he's not currently here right now. I believe he's out um, possibly out at a meeting. He's out what? I think he's out at a meeting right now. A I'm meeting. Sure. I thought he said movie. I thought he said oh. movie too. I'm like, what's he doing? Oh, Get him back here. I, I wish I was at movie. <laughs> I mean, too. I like this Betsy Ross flag that you got here. Oh, it's like a, a trim. It's very, very nice. Got a lot of stuff respecting... Uh, the United States, of course, Lowell's origins with the mills. Um, you guys, you know, really appreciate your your revolutionary past and being free, right? I mean, um, if you guys wanted to take a look, I'm not sure. I don't have the exact information, but there's a really nice um, old book that has a lot of old names that like were Ooh, the Boston Globe. Is there, was here. Um, do you happen to know what the oldest uh, thing displayed here is? When were they here, though? Oh, that's recent. I'm noticing a lot of things that are, are pretty up there in age, do like you, that book. Do you know Ted? My buddy Ted down in the uh, tax collector's office? It's my friend Ted. I might. I'm not 100%. Yeah. I'm kind of new here. So, so you, you can't miss him. Yeah. Um, tall guy, total jerk likes to disrespect people engaging in their First Amendment right that that flag represents. So you can't miss him. If you see a, a human troll, you met Ted. Tell him his buddy said hi, okay? Oh, okay. And thank um, you for your hard work. You're very kind. Course, thank you. Have a great day. You too. It doesn't say dates when you get further back, but it's interesting. Oh, it's interesting to see the change in like, yeah. um, signatures. Like, right. I it mean, almost those looks are... like printed. I wonder if Ted's great 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 grandfather Thaddeus also had a problem with cameras. <laughs> Thaddeus Camera House. Am I able to go with that? Um, that's kind of a story. Yeah. 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 Are you trying to go in? I'll wait until you're. No, we'll, we'll, we'll clear up. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You got someone that needs help out there, so I'm going to yeah. step out and let them conduct their business. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks very much. Good to go, man. Thank you. Thank you for your service. All right. Is there another office we have in here? I don't know. Permits under the hall. Hey, how we doing? How are you doing? You doing good today? Yes, I am. Thank Glad you. to hear it. Thanks. Hello. How are you? We having a good day today? I'm having a great day. You got look at that. You got two windows, like the perfect angle of sun from both angles. It's a beautiful day. Nice little corner office. All right. Just wanted to come in, do a good day check. See how you are doing. Yeah, it's nice out today, so I'm happy. Excuse me. Yeah, you got to get out of work early so you can enjoy some of the sunlight. Excuse me. All right. You having a good day, boss? Yes, I am. Can't complain with the weather like that outside, not, huh? Not like this. All right. Planning Board, Zoning Board of Appeals, Conservation Commission, Historic Board. I think we got one more office, and then we're uh, good to go. We have to see. I have a quandary. And no, we have to check the elevator for its inspection. That's a great idea. Normally, they like to find people for not having things properly inspected, but eight times out of ten, I would say, is a good number on how often they don't have theirs up to date. Like the ink. Thank you. Very cool. You got a family tree. That's cool, huh? Very different. Very cool. Yeah. Is it a Follow your tree heart. Just a tree. It's just a tree. Okay. Very cool. Very pretty. Well, the guy's in here doing his business, so I'm going to let him do that. Uh, Nana had a great idea. We got to check the elevators, make sure they're uh, up to date. That drives me bonkers.
Well, it's just, it, it sucks that, you know, you have a whole department that's dedicated to assessing fines to people, right. and then their own house is in an order. Right. I don't know if that's the case yeah. here. What do we think? Ooh, there's a tiny one. Expired July, now they're up to date. Good. Just barely. Just barely. But that's good to see. Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't think they should be able to find anybody if they can't keep their own house together. No. Which one was the last one that didn't have it? They're all uh, those? A lot of them. Most of them. Eight out of ten. There's some crazy number that was... Oh, here we go. Here we go. What do we got here? Hi right, guys, that guy's having a mental health issue, so I was just checking with the sergeant. I always like to make sure I have a cop's here. Are uh, they here for us? Um, he is not here for us. He's dealing with the guy that's having a mental health crisis. Uh, so we're just going to take off because I, mean, I think they should come clean up that poor dead birdie right there. That's not what the people want to see when they first walk into City Hall. Careful, sir, there's a dead bird right there. I don't want you to step on it. All right. Guys, just be careful when you walk into City Hall, there's a dead bird. And we just want to make, yeah, that's a, just a welcoming sight. Uh, but anyway, so that's what was happening there. Otherwise, if it wasn't like a domestic thing and it was just some sort of normal stop situation, we would have observed it just to make sure that people were going to So we like to do that. That's why you saw us kind of, and then he checked because obviously the cop was there with us. If we walked away, then we could This is City Plaza. Hi guys, so this is the city hall. No, no, but I mean, it's happened to other people. So we make sure we stay if, it, if they're for us, and if they're not, we can go or we can stay and report it. But he had some sort of mental health. Yeah, I mean, I'm totally within my rights. If I want to stand there and record that, and I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. That guy is going to lose his mind. He's probably going to wind up getting arrested because he's already not in his he's faculties. He's his mind already. But it's just, there, there's no educational value for him. And so that's why I just sometimes I will check if I'm getting a read on what's going on that I just ask him you're not here for us and he said no that he's dealing the guy's having a mental health crisis so there's no need for us to film we, we worked on our story we folks it's not even illegal you know, they just show up and I want to figure out how much money they make and I want to figure out how much money per hour they wasted to come down here on folks right. with a camera well no it's not illegal to leave however it, they could, they could, they could you know? Yeah. So it's just better to stay because we know we're not doing anything wrong. So. Folks, please make sure you go to the Lowell Sun. Most recently, an article came out by Cameron Morrisberger. I um, so assume something else is going to come out. We have a couple more things to do today. We're going to chat with her off air. But the best way to let a newspaper that's doing the right thing or any reporter that's really giving um, you know a good view at real journalism is to go read the article and leave comments. Because if you're leading comment, reading comments, leaving comments, you know, you're giving thumbs up on comments and you're clicking on that article, it's going to generate and populate that that's gaining traction. And we want it to gain traction. We want to see journalists that are out here doing hard work. Uh, in her last article, there are some things that are critical of me, but that's that's beautiful because that's the First Amendment. You know, that's and it's to be honest, it's fantastic to see someone out here um, that's doing some real investigative journalism. So we thank you for giving us the opportunity and joining us. And we can't wait to read just not our article, but many more that you write. Oh, yeah. yeah, I really appreciate that. We're not going to be yeah. reading every single one religiously. <laughs> no, I'm, oh, I might. Not a new one. I no, might. We will. That's, because that's, that's good to hear. <laughs> is there anything that, so let me ask you a question. Going in there, um, now my, my audit says you've seen the same inside as they are that you've seen in the videos. Um, would you say from uh, a non, a less biased standpoint, do you think that we're in here trying to intimidate or, or harass people? What, what would you give your, your feedback as being kind of like a, a bird's eye view? No, I, I think, like I had mentioned in the other article, I think it's an exercise of your rights as you described. And like you had mentioned too, I think the 99% of people that you encounter have a good interaction with you. And so, right. um, you know, it's it's a good look for, for folks that are from Lowell or not from Lowell to kind of get some insight into what's happening. And, you know, 
the Lowell City Hall and uh, to meet some of the folks that are running it. So, no, I think it's, like I said before, too, it's, it's an exercise of transparency as well. So And it's, it's crazy because if, if like, I'm just going to use Ted's name, not this specific example. We say X Ted here, right? So Ted has a little bit of a meltdown, not this situation, because he didn't quite have a meltdown, but if Ted, the guy we meet, or the woman we meet, has a really bad interaction, that's my fault. I've made them react that way. But if they do really well, they're reacting really well because of good training. So I'm trying to find where the impasse is because people write articles about me all the time, how I'm going in there, but maybe they don't watch past the first two minutes, but normally we have entirely good interactions. We'll find one or two bad apples and we'll want to try and educate them. So, I mean, do you think that something like this is helpful? Yeah, no, I would say I would say it's helpful for for the employees as well to understand what people's rights are. I think a lot of times when you encounter hostility, at least from what I've seen from your videos, it's because people don't understand that this is a right that you have to practice. So I think it's there's a there's a level of education I think that needs to happen around people's rights and so this is a good opportunity for them to understand, you know, hey, people are allowed to come in and record. This is a public space. So I think it's, you know, it's good for them to understand that that's, you know, something that people can do. An honest question. Feel free to, to, to answer <laughs> honestly. Do you think that we try to, or did you see any, any specific moments where we were trying to agitate people or to kind of dig at them to, to create a response? I don't, I don't think so. Um, I think you're asking, you know, questions that were pertinent to their office or, you know, the role that they that they have at the city. Um, but yeah, to me, I feel like the re the interactions were were fine. I'll probably look back at the video and right. and review what happens. But um, no, yeah, that's yeah, Perfect. my first impression at least. Well, folks, Cameron Morsberger, uh, phenomenal works for the Lola Sun. She's been Banana Anna. I've been AFA. We'll catch you on the next one. And that's the reason I stopped you today. Guys, we have to go to the solicitor's office. We forgot that one. I'm gonna take the Vader. The elevator. Should we do the stairs? Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now nah, the elevator's here. We're going to see Christine Clancy. Is she on the third floor? Oh. She doesn't? No. Oh. How long did she work here? I don't even know where she's at now. Oh. She, she used to be the engineering uh -huh. boss. Yeah, but she's no longer there. And we're only on the phone. Excuse me. Hello. Cool. Are you the city manager? Yes, I am. Oh, oh great. Yeah. We're trying name? to. My name's Good Citizen. Great to meet you, Tom. Nice to meet you too. We were trying to touch Hi. base with you. Oh, sure. We met, I guess Ted kind of... Oh, you guys know each other? Oh, hey, Cameron. Yeah, I'm just, I'm Sorry. observing this. <laughs> oh, cool. How are you? Can I, how can I help you? I just wanted to see if maybe Ted could get some. I know that um, the CFO said that he spoke to him. You're, first Ted. of all, you're in the tax office, yeah. tax collector's office. Oh, sure, yeah, what's up? First of all, your entire staff is phenomenal. Thank you. Appreciate Wonderful. It's great to see and very surprising. Appreciate that. Um, but Ted saw us. He asked other employees not to assist us because we were filming. He said it was against a lot of film, and then he demanded we what check in with your office yeah, to be able to get permission to film. No, he just thought that it was against the law. Like he, and Bianca was phenomenal. She continued sure, sure. to answer yeah. our questions. So I just want to make sure that there's some... Do you, have you provided training to your, to your team here as far as people's rights with First Amendment and, uh, and, and no, audits? We, we, we've obviously picked up on what you guys have been doing. I think it's a good idea that we continue to do uh, more training. We've Whatever done, training they're getting is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, well, I think For it's the most important part. that everybody is uh, kind and courteous <laughs> just to make sure that uh, everyone feels welcome when they come into the city. So Because we didn't with Ted. Well, he was once, very rude and, and well, once again, somewhat maybe aggressive. Ted, maybe there was uh, sensitive information. Yeah. Do, do you want to see the video of Ted? No. I'm, I, can, I'm, I can show you. Sure. He... he, he I think that well, maybe a little we grumpy. We can't always say that everybody is having an awesome day, right? Uh, <laughs> of so you but just no, walked I mean, in, didn't you? No. Through the side entrance. Oh yeah, that was me. See, I I've never seen your picture before, never met you before, and I, he, the way he was walking when we were speaking, I said 
he looks like a town manager. And you just walked city in manager. down city, city manager. <laughs> you just say, I, I got a good eye. All right, so do you think like, and I always offer this. Sure. I am happy at no charge to come in, 15 minute crash course on what people's rights are, how to handle that type of behavior, how to work with the public. You know, I mean, sure. you really don't need to too much, but I think yeah. maybe Ted, could, it's no. always good to keep up on well, it. Well, once again, I think that maybe, you know, I don't know what happened, and I'm sure you could show me, which I'm, you know, I, I hear you. But once again, when it's it, when it could have possibly been information that was out there, I don't know. Well, I mean, that's not what he's. No, he just told us that we can't well, ask the office, we can't ask people in their questions, and we can't film unless we have permission from your office. Okay. Well. And they knew that we weren't recording people doing their business because there was a gentleman that came in that I actually knew personally, okay. and I removed my and paused my recording so he could take care of his stuff. He just yes. he didn't know that we were what we were doing is legal, and instead of being professional and asking oh, some questions, yeah. he wanted to combat, and and that's no. just you know that tarnishes the rest of the excellent so. I mean, performance. I think especially when you're in an area that could be considered, you know, Ted takes it very serious as far as people's personal information. Maybe he just got a little jumpy on it. That's all. Yeah. So I, I can have a discussion with him. But That'd be we great. actually did have a, uh, a conversation um, just last week. We've uh, we'll be talking with law with our legal department. Uh, so to answer to two of your questions, one, I, I believe we have done a good job over the last year with educating, uh, but we didn't really need to do a lot. To be honest with you, because uh, as you could probably tell, I don't know if you have talked to the gentleman in here or other phenomenal. Folks. They were great. Yeah. Everyone is very open. We want you to feel welcome when you come here. It's not a problem. Uh, but we do need to brush, I think, everybody up on First Amendment. What is legal? What isn't legal? If uh, a tax bill was out, and I'm using Treasury as an example, that could be an issue. I don't know if it is. No. Uh, I don't know what exactly was uh, in the area. But that's something we can work on. Perfect. I appreciate it. And um, could you direct me, because I didn't even know there was a third floor. Maybe it's upstairs. Uh, Christine Clancy's office. Christine Clancy hasn't worked. Yeah, she hasn't worked. <laughs> How long was she here? Oh, Christine Clancy left. How long? Well, she was a city uh, solicitor, right? No, that's Christine O'Connor. O'Connor. Yeah, she left seven, eight months ago. Oh, how long was she here in that position? Ooh, you, now you're challenging me. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just, I'm just asking <laughs> off the top of my head. Time. No, I don't want to get it wrong. It, it, well, the city solicitor, years. she was a, who was a city solicitor? Yes, uh, he, they're upstairs right here. Okay, who's the current one? Corey Williams. Corey. How long has he been working here? Uh, he's been with the city for, now you're challenging me again, I'm doing my math. <laughs> Uh, in that in that yeah, capacity, five months. Five months. Five months. Five months. Who yeah. was there? That's pretty, that's pretty, who was there before him? Pretty, uh, Christine. Christine. Yeah, Christine. And she was there. Was there and, then now we have four. and she was there for twenty five years. Okay. Twenty five ish. Pretty specific for putting you on the spot, though. I mean, you pretty know, good. Well, I, pretty like, good. Like I said, I don't want you call, coming back saying. She was here 27. She could have been. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. No Glad to talk. Thanks, right. man. Appreciate thank it. Have a good day. I missed the two outside. That's that. okay. <laughs> they both left around Yeah, I hate when people have the same name. Hello, is Christine here? Christine. Yeah, the city solicitor. Oh no, she uh, she has been the city solicitor uh, since last November. Oh my goodness, how long was she here? 
So who's the city solicitor I now? Am. You are. Yes. How long have you been here? Corey Williams. Uh, almost six months. Okay. Was there anyone between her and you? Yes. Who is that? So, Helene Tomlinson. Helene Tomlinson. Yeah, she. we actually started at the same time. Oh, where Helene is she? Does she work here still? No, she doesn't work here anymore. Oh, did she, what, did you, did she just go somewhere else? Yeah, I don't, honestly, I haven't spoken to her. I heard there was a little bit of a, a shake-up over here. Some people coming and it going. fast. Yeah. What uh? What what happened there? Was there some? A lot, I heard there were some complaints. I mean, they weren't for me. I, I got along really well with Lee. You know, okay. she's super nice. You know, really really smart. I just I don't know how comfortable she was in like a municipal setting. Yeah, it was new for her, and uh, right. I really liked her. She was such a, she was such a nice lady. Really really smart. And you're you're a young man. Yeah. How how, how old are you? As they start to, I'm 37. 37. As I start to get older, I don't hear that as much as I used to, so I, I appreciate that. That's uh, cool. not, well, hey, listen, normally Same I don't here. think folks would even answer that question, so I thank you for answering. I just wanted to come by, and I, I guess I need to do better research next time on who's the current person, because that's the name that I had had. That's okay. Sometimes it's a little bit of a shake-up. Sometimes you don't make the cut, right? It's, well, it's, you know how it is. It's common municipal government. There's turnover. Yeah. yeah. Politics right. penetrate every office. He's definitely right. a lot younger than the one that was here for 27 years. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, and she, and she was great too. So I certainly appreciate the film. Well, thank you very much. You. I appreciate your time. Thank right. you. Take care. Someone else is yeah. coming in. So. Hello, peekaboo. <laughs> you saw me before I saw you. How are you? Hi, thanks. Okay, I was I just wondering you what you do here in this office. I didn't see you guys have like a nice big sign like everyone no, else. Um, this is the workers' compensation office for the city of Lowell. So why don't the offices that do the hardest work get like nice big signs and placards? Like you guys should have a sign. Oh, well, thank you for your appreciation. <laughs> well, I do appreciate you. And uh, I think we should switch maybe with... Um, a bigger office. I think you guys should. You want a bigger office? Actually, I would like a few extra years of credible service so I could retire. That's my Ooh. goal. Well, listen, you've had credible 27 service years. 27 years so. that you've given to this community. Thank What's your name? You. Karen. So for 27 years, Karen, you've been helping people get what they deserve when they fall under hard times and they're vulnerable. When yeah. they're only city employees. I don't represent um, anyone okay. other than city of low employees. Well, well Please, thank you so I much. Am. You're very welcome. Right. Well, thank, thank you, you for you appreciating have a me. Great job. We do. We appreciate you. Okay. How do we not miss the third floor? I think I looked up and saw a steeple and was just like thinking of the there was yeah, there's a steeple, not many people. There was a steeps, not many peeps. Do you remember that from my grade school? Yeah. Hmm. Hello. Can I help you? I'm just taking a look around. Thanks. Hey. What uh, what's in here? It's a conference room. Oh, uh, conference room. Nice. So what uh, what kind of work do you do here, man? Uh, I do the clerical. You do the clerical stuff? Yes. It's hard to have a conversation with you when you're walking away, man. Well, it was good to see you come, but I hate to see you leave. Can you maybe turn around and answer a few more of my questions? No, I don't think so. Why? Is it, is it a job trait to be a jerk, or is that just a personal trait? Because everyone else was really nice, wanted to answer questions. We came in here very polite. We're asking some questions, and you want to be Tony Tough Guy and not answer our questions. You want to walk away, right? That's an excellent representation of you of your city government. Maybe you'll have a change of heart. Well, do you, maybe he won't. Do you like your job? I'm here, aren't I? Would you like to keep it? I think so. All right, then maybe start answering questions when the people come in and ask them. I don't know who you think you are or what made you think you could get up, walk into this office, and accept a paycheck from the people. But when someone from this community walks in here yeah. and asks a question of you, you answer it or you get out. Just let me know when you're done. Oh, I'm done. I'm waiting for you to answer my question. I'm not going to answer your question. Because you you're a piece like of shit. Do you feel uh, like it's uh, common? For, I, it, am you I can not speak to my to boss. 
We did. He just told us that everyone would answer his que answer our questions. I was just, no, I was my just boss trying is to the city you engineer. And you're staring no. at him, looking at him, and talking to him, and I'm we I'm spoke to him to ask you questions. Yeah, no, you didn't come in and tell me that you were going to have a camera and. Oh, ask I need me to tell exactly. you. Well, you want you don't want to tell me what you're doing, but you want me to tell you what I'm doing. How can I help you today, sir? You could tell me what your name is and what you do in this office. It was that simple from the get-go. That's what I asked you. How are you? What do you do here? I'm fine. How are you? Not, I'm not great. I want to know what you do here. What's your job role here? I work. Doing what? Whatever I'm told to do. Okay. Well, right now you're being told by a citizen that they would like to know what services you offer in this community. Are you? John Gleason. Who are you? That's an engineer. Let's see. Is that you? Are you John Gleason? This might not be his desk. Are you John? Let's get all. Let's get the business cards. What do you do here, John? Because then I'm just gonna have to go to the city administrator and the mayor's office, and they're gonna come back here and say, "Why'd you make okay. us look stupid?" Okay. No, please. Because you're stupid by yourself. I, I've been told that. Yes. I, I can imagine you've been told that. It would I make sense that you've been told that. Yes. It's good that people are honest with you. Yes. That's right. great. So how long have you been, you know, defrauding people and not giving service in the city of Lowell? It's just the only ones that are holding a camera? No. No, but if we, get, if we have a camera, then we don't get service. He said it's uh, not I, just the ones I said, how can I help you today, sir? I just want to know. Let's start again. Would, would you like Hello. to? Hello. I would just like to know. Are you applying for a permit? Would I would just like, I don't know. What, all I want to know is this. I have two simple questions. What services this I office provides the community? Your question. So you're asking me. Stupid. You, I, you are stupid. Then I am not going to answer your question. But you didn't answer my questions before I called I you stupid, care. which is why I called you stupid. I, I, never I am not you stupid, and I said uh, hopefully he has I'm, a change of heart. Not, and you say, I, sir, and you say, no, I won't. You ask me how you can help me. Then when I tell you how you can help me, you tell me to beat it, sir. I am not going to answer your questions. You can stand there yeah, yeah, all day. You're going to answer our questions. You know what I think no, I am not. Hundred percent. You know no, I am not. Promise it. No, I am. How much you want to bet? Sir? Give me five minutes. I'll be back. You'll answer my questions. Sir. You want to make a bet? That's fine. All right. You're going to be in this office. You're not going to go hide. I'm, sir, I'm going to be right over there. All right. You don't move. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Let's do this. You're not John, though, right? Uh, you have a good day, sir. John, Dick, Harry. You have a good day. I'm having a great day. That's perfect. So am I. You know, I shouldn't even tell you this because you've been so rude, but I'm a kind enough human being that I don't want you to lose anything, so you should pick that up. You dropped your pocket. Sense of humor. I'm trying to make I'm, you laugh. I'm, I'm a funny I'm guy. guy. You're a funny guy. We are at a funeral. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. You're excused. We gotta go get someone to help us out here. Is it like common for you to like ignore women when they're speaking to you? No. I actually, that's my boss right there. Okay. Oh, perfect. Great. Can you tell me his name, please? I'll be right with you. In this Thank you moment. so much. Appreciate it. Then we're gonna go speak to the city manager who we just left, who assured us this wasn't gonna happen. So we're gonna we're gonna have a few chats here. I wasn't raising my voice. Whatever you do, don't tell him my name. Mm. <laughs> whatever you do, don't tell him my name. That's what he said. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't tell him my name. What I don't understand is I'm I'm speaking calmly. You, I mean, you're escalated, which you have every right to be. Mm. Un un unacceptable. And, and he won't even speak. To, he won't How can I help you? Hello. Yes. I just spoke to your city manager and the mayor's office and had a great experience with everyone. He assured us that we were going to get we were going to get continued professionalism and cooperation. What He's, are we talking about? Well, we well, came in here right and now. I asked okay. this gentleman what his name was and what he does in this office. What services this office This is provide. engineering's office. What's his name? Jim. Jim what? Jim, what's your last name? Waskiel. What is it, Jim? So he won't speak to us at all. Jim, so Unless he has something negative. He's going to write it down. Perfect. And can, can you write down what it is that you do here as well, is please? Is there any what reason you are filming this? I'm For just me. curious. Huh? For me. Yeah, th this is why I'm filming you. Do you know what that is? No, I don't. It's my permit. It's the U.S. Constitution. With people. Okay. So you have already been called stupid. Oh, okay. he's, he's stupid. Oh, you know, after I said maybe he'll have a change of heart and so speak to there, us, and he says no. Is there no. anything we can help you? Yeah, I just no, wanted I'm to get ask. his you name. Want a name. No, no, you didn't. You didn't want to answer any questions. I asked you what your name is and what you do here. You said you weren't going to be answering any questions. You weren't going to be providing service. Don't lie. All right. You sh I mean, you, you are a liabetic. So can Liabetes. I your, can I have your contact information? You yeah, sure. My, my, my contact name. Are you ready? I, don't I just need his, what it, his paper that says what he does here and his name. So I think he wrote it down. If you don't mind, can, can, may I have your contact yeah, yours, information your, so I can help you with? Yours first. Yeah. 
I'm just you, waiting you for a his. He, no, he, no, his. He, his name, he said he was writing his name and his position down. Yeah. Uh, That's not a big deal. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. He said, no, I'm not. After he wrote it down, crumpled it up. You can pass it. that along. It's very yeah. nice. If like told you you were going to be going to work here today. What are we talking about? Here's he, the engineer's office. He's Jim's. His name is Jim. How do you spell your last name? I'm sorry. L-O-S. L-O-S. C-H. C-H. I-A. I-A. V-O. V-O. And what do you do here, Jim? What's your position? He's a principal clerk here, okay? You're a clerk? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so I told you told me that you weren't going to be answering any questions, okay, so and you please, just did. Can I have your yes. information? Well, my, boss, my boss is... Uh, your is, boss told you to do your job, so without her, you'd stand back there and be a complete jerk. Is that what it is? So besides he did not answer your name question... Is I'm not mad at you, by the way. No, I, I, I just met you. I'm just trying to help the situation just to see... You know, like, I, I, I came in specific here... specific that we can help you Yeah, with. and, and yeah. the city administrator, is, is his, he's going to speak to you. Yeah, that's my name. You want to put down? Good citizen. Uh, I actually need the actual name, so in case we need to get in touch with you. Yeah, um, yeah, that, that works. That works. Good citizen, we the people. Okay. I mean, you, yeah, I mean, trust that, that, me, hundreds of thousands of people have got a hold of me. In fact, millions. And you're the only one that's good people? Good citizens? Well, until you walked yeah, into I this know. office, yeah. I was the only good people in here. We didn't say we were the only one. Okay, so we that's what I'm trying to get citizen. in touch with. Is there a contact information? That I'm going to write down my email so after this video airs and yeah. you guys understand you're in some hot water and then the administrators and mayor's office like has some very harsh words with you, you're going to probably want to reach out and apologize. So I'm going to give you my email, all right? I don't understand why somebody who works for the city can be so rude. What do you... I'm confused. I, I, I guess can, I, I can I don't tell understand. you... So let me abbreviate, because yeah. you're very nice. And by the way, I apologize if my attitude is coming off at you because you've done nothing wrong. But we came in here to take a look around, as we have every single other office, and we've been met with nothing but professionalism mm -hmm. and from every office. And we came in here, and I just said, could you tell me who you are and what you do here, man? Yeah. Exact quote. Went back in the video. He continued to walk away. He continued to ignore me. He said that he wasn't going to tell me anything unless I gave him information. Is And he was extremely rude. There's a video that hundreds of thousands of people are going to see. Do you think that is a correct way for him to treat the public? I don't think, I mean, I don't, I wasn't there, so I'm not going to comment on any of those interactions. Would you like to um, see the interaction? I would love to see the interactions. Yeah, well, okay. But, okay. but okay. how about this? How about before we... anything really happened and he didn't really speak to us at all? I, before? He, no, I'm speaking, ma'am. He's walking up to us after he walked over there, comes back up to this window, and I said, you mm -hmm. know what? Maybe he'll have a change of heart and he'll, ha he'll speak with us. And he says, well, maybe I won't. Okay. Is that is that appropriate for your office? To we speak don't normally to like handle that? citizens. We always handle with professionalism in this office. Okay. Uh, sure so, so here, 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 here's I'm going to ask: Is there anything specific that we can help you? I can help you with this. Well, you just besides the video. You just yeah. You're gonna you're gonna talk to him about his attitude. Help him work on that. You just no, so, okay, like so that's so that's all you and need. The it, information is well. His so name. so a, ask oh, him. I, ask okay, him what right. he said when when he asked it. He did. He said, "Could I help you?" And then I asked him, "Could you?" Yes, you can help me. So Could you me tell me? This. Hold on, I'm not finished yet. Thank you. I told him, "Yes, you can help me." Thank you. Can you tell me what your name is and what do you do here? And you said what? I said I'm not going to tell you my name. You're not going to answer any of my questions, is what you said. So you asked to help me, and then when I tell you what I need, you tell me to go beat it. So well, let me do this, okay? Um, I'm out of here. You're I'm, a waste of space, bro. I'm going to have a conversation. Yeah, keep it obviously. pushing. So is it... We're going to go down to the city, not, city manager's office. office. We're going to have a conversation, yeah. Why is he even here anymore? That's my question. Is it, he's not helping in How much money... Uh, what's your salary? Because I'm going to FOIA request it anyways. Yeah, so no, that that's... I don't think you have to answer that question for you. No, no, he doesn't have to answer it, but no. I'll get the information. You can get the information. I'll get it absolutely. in ten. I'll get it in ten days. I'll probably get it sooner you than can that. Absolutely, you do can. That. You can certainly do. You that. can certainly do that. That's do you right. think if people watch this video and they see your behavior, they're going to redress their grievances and ask that you maybe not serve Is your position anymore? Is there anything related in engineering? Excuse me, that lower, we can help lower you. your voice. You're being disorderly. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm here. This I don't appreciate that. Neither do I right now. Okay? You don't appreciate doing your job? Neither does he. I see where it comes from. How you doing? I can see you that you are twisting a word. I twisting know. our words. Twisting now I'm controlling I'm controlling the words that come out of your mouth now. All right. So That's what I'm doing. I have the power of mind control. God gave me that. I understand. God gave you the ability to be the biggest jerk in Lowell, and Lowell. God gave me the ability to mind control. 
Well, what I don't understand, though, is why he's still standing here. He refuses to speak with us or have any communication. We're going to go to the city manager's office now. And he's still standing here. Yeah, we're going to have to engineer a new position for him. How you doing? Is the city manager still in here? Back in his office. Okay. Thanks so much. Hello, Leticia. We just spoke to the city manager, and there was one more thing I needed to let him know before we left. Is he back in the office? Thank you. He just met us. Here's that one more follow-up. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hey, we just met the city manager. Um, he said if there's anything else to swing by the office, let him know. So we were just circling back around. Meeting, so you just He's not in the building? He's headed to a meeting, and you just missed him. CFO here? Uh, he has headed into a meeting. He's headed into a meeting, yeah. With, um, it is a busy... Yeah, who, who's, busy. who's here in a supervisory or administrative capacity that's not currently in a meeting? For what purpose? Well, for me to discuss another incident that happened... Um, and I'm offering the same offer I've done several times, and I always find it nice to do this. Um, guy that works upstairs in the engineer's office wanted to be a complete jerk, totally disrespectful and aggressive. So I'm going to offer him one of two things. I'm going to offer him the ability to give an apology or his job. So I'm going to take an apology or I'm going to take his job. He can decide which. So that's where I'm at right now. You know what? You're, you're being extremely disruptive in a day. Oh, I'm being disruptive. Well, you, do, you know what? I'm, see, maybe you should I'm, go talk to your city manager because you just thanked us for what I we're mean, doing. So we're being disruptive. Disruptive in a sense yeah. that it's not a planned meeting and we do. I don't need to plan. I'm, I'm walking in off the street telling you that I need to speak to someone. But you got someone is, for me? I'm sorry. You know what? You are, me, I, that's fine. I accept your apology. He's speaking to you in a polite manner you. and he's being disruptive. That doesn't make any sense. So people can't walk into a public building and speak with the, the employees that work for the people. And here's the thing, right? So, so the people that we just met in negative positions, they'll say, like, oh, we're agitators and we're coming in, we're being disruptive. But that's only, what, 20% of the people that we've met, if that? Mm -hmm. We've had nothing but positive interactions the entire time. So when two people do something wrong, this is what they'll do. They'll sacrifice the entire good interaction to double down, stick to their guns, and look as bad as possible. Because it's just not the right thing. And I do it every single time. How many times have I offered? I'll take an apology over taking a job. Hi, friends. Hello. It's good to see you again. Uh, so it might seem like I'm aggravated. It's not at you. So I don't take it personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just went upstairs. We spoke to the city manager, who was great, right? Yeah. He told us that, and we told him that everyone we met we were doing phenomenal. Mm -hmm. She said we're being disruptive, so she's on my bucket list and not so hot right now. But we can revisit that later. I went up to the to the engineer's office. Mm -hmm. I walked in, and as nice as I have to everybody else who's been phenomenal here, mm -hmm. I said, "Could you tell me your name and what you do, man?" Mm -hmm. He walked away, refused to speak to us. Then he came back, started arguing with me, telling me that. He, he doesn't he like his job. He's just here, right? He's not going to answer any of my any of my questions whatsoever. I'd ask you who it was, but you, you don't know, right? Uh, I can show you. He got it by his... Uh, uh, you know, let me show you. I was talked to like mm -hmm. I was complete dog shit. He refuses to... I mean, we thought Ted was bad. That was, I think, more of a misunderstanding than anything. The situation's been resolved, and your staff has done phenomenal. I've even told another reporter separately, overall, my my time in this building has been met with complete and total professionalism. Mm -hmm. But that guy, to sit up there in a, bit, in a job that's public facing and serve the people, to tell me that he, they don't normally deal with the public, they deal with professionals, and it's his not, not his job to answer my questions. He won't answer my questions. I asked him, does he like his job? He says, I show up to work every day, don't I? Mm -hmm. Like, complete asshole. So he, and, and we're not allowed to film him. So here's what I'm offering him, okay? And you can pass this along. In extreme situations like this, I've only ever done it four times, okay. okay? I offer to either take an apology or to take a job. 
all right? There's only one time someone didn't want to offer the apology. They called my bluff. I took their job. Yeah. But I don't, for, help for that, me with the logic on that. For that, that I want an apology or yeah. I want his position. So I'm going to take one or the other. He, I like to take an apology. He, now, you appear to be a, a bit of a constitutional scholar. No, um, absolutely not. Well, you, you were in never, here talking you about the, the no, First absolutely, Amendment. Absolutely and, not, yeah, yeah. But you have some familiarity with the yeah. Constitution, yeah? So now you're going to ask me if he has free speech? No, but okay. he has a Fourth Amendment right to his job and his pay. Now, how can you take that away from him without due process? Oh, see, here's the thing, right? Before the Fourth Amendment is, is the first, the people's right to address their... They're not in order of priority. Well, well, well of course they are, because the First Amendment to the Constitution is the building block. The Second Amendment only exists to protect the First Amendment. I am not, by any means, a constitutional scholar. I think anyone Sounds that like says you. that they are, that doesn't have a law degree, is a real moron. Yeah. Exactly. However, his, his job is to do his job and to be respectful of the people, right? So if people feel in overwhelming and abundant numbers mm -hmm. that he is, is not doing his job and he's a detriment to this city's you know, good performance, then people would probably redress their grievances, which is mm -hmm. another component of the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. You seem pretty up to date on it as well. Do you know the five components of the First Amendment? I, I'm sure not as well as you. So. Probably you might know it better. I always I, like I, to learn. I, don't, Here, I wouldn't claim to be He a was unprofessional. Scholar. So I'm what I'm you. asking I'm is you. if... When, when, we I think learning, that that's an extreme we learn We learn in kindergarten what an apology is? No, no, taking his job. Oh, but I don't have to go that way. All he has to say is, to sorry, way. man. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a misunderstanding. I haven't been in this job long. I didn't know that you could film, but you don't treat me like shit. I didn't come in here treating you like shit. I don't think that you did. I didn't come in here. Right, that's what I'm saying. Are you talking about me or is this a hypothetical? With no, me? like hypothetical. I came into each office treating everyone respectfully. I mean, we had a disagreement a moment ago because she said I'm being disruptive. But, I mean, I don't deserve to be treated like that. No one does. And if he's speaking to me that way when he's got a camera, what's he doing when cameras aren't rolling? All I want is an apology. And we learn that in kindergarten. If we treat somebody poorly, we say that we're sorry. And if he does not want to apologize, that means he does not mm -hmm. think he did and something he wrong. he doesn't want to treat people with the same respect as he treats somebody else. We're standing right side by side next to each other. You know how I'm speaking to you mm -hmm. and you speak back? I, I ask you questions, you answer them, and sometimes vice versa. Mm, yeah, but it's not a two-way street, I learned. Depending. Yeah. Okay. However, I I'm like this guy. side by side with him, and I'm speaking, and he completely ignores me. Mm. Is that, that, I just, that's strange to me. He told is his that, boss not to give us his name. Is that normal? She walked in, he said, said, yeah. Is that normal? Like, for him to address a woman differently than he would Because that's exactly what... No. he was doing. He wasn't no. speaking to me at all. Literally ignoring her. And right. I was a lot kinder than he was. Right. Um, and I was being completely ignored and shut down. And I don't mm -hmm. know if it's maybe he has an issue with women. Um, well, the city engineer is a woman. And that's his well, boss. Right. That's well, yeah, boss. he went in there barking orders. Yeah. We, we told barking her we wanted uh, his boss. name. She said one second. He went in there. I got it on camera and said, don't you give them my name. And then while she was speaking to us, trying to figure out what the heck was going on, at least rectify it uh, the best she could, what, what she, she had him write his name down. Then he goes and he crumples it up and goes and throws away so and then walks away again. Okay. Well, I mean, that's, that's something we're going to have to investigate. I just, all I want is an apology. And then I won't be upset. Like, listen, you want an I mean, no, I'm, why I'm should you apologize? You. Stop it. Don't you do it. Don't politic me. You're a good guy. I like you. I don't want an apology from you. <laughs> he acted that way. It's not that hard. Even though we work for the government, or not yeah. we, but I'm saying collectively, right? It doesn't mean that we're above somebody else. Our ego is so driven that we can't say we're sorry if we did something wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, th th that, that's all that there is. You know, I apologize if right. I get things wrong. He, you have to remember that most of the employees in this place, um, you know, they have union protections. And so we... You know, in order to that don't help them to discipline any employee, we have to go about the appropriate process. No, I understand, and they can and they can decide to and arbitrate. So no, there is in no case uh, an instance where somebody does something, we take their job away. Well, from obviously, them. no, 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 not not, not you, not you, over time, but you, not you take the job. I mean, what no, you just said to we, me though, was, we the people take it from because right. so for example, the last guy wanted to play this this game where he just didn't want to come out and say he was sorry for doing something wrong, yeah. and then the city moved to terminate him, and then I had to arbitrate and I had to go to a Mm -hmm. hearing and we kept doing that thing and sure. and I and my promise was gold he lost his job mm. for acting he was absolutely and he acted a little bit more professional than the guy upstairs yeah. did but but I'm willing to follow it to that 
and mm-hmm. degree, but I don't want to have to. I just want an apology. He was mm-hmm. rude to me. He works for the public. I shouldn't have been treated that way. Mm-hmm. Vicariously, she shouldn't have been treated that way. I'm not going to speak for this young lady here because mm-hmm. I know her much less than I know the person I'm with. Well, I want is an apology. Hey, man, sorry. And that, but, but if we're, you know, if, if it's that important to not apologize, then I would seek alternative methods. Can, can we ask him if he'd be willing to apologize? It sounds to me like you've already done that. No, I didn't no. ask him. No. Oh, you didn't? I left and said I'm going to come speak to the city manager because he told us if we had any further questions to follow up with him. You know, and he said, but we didn't expect that because the conversation was overwhelmingly positive because everyone had done such a great job. Mm-hmm. So we left the office. I said, all right, if you want to act this way, we'll come downstairs. We'll go to the city manager's office. She let us know that he's not in and that you were in a meeting. Well, so here's where I, th- I think there's a, a, a limitation. Personnel matters are confidential. They're not public record. They're not... Um, they are at an arbitration hearing. If you compel them with the courts, you may be able to get access to yeah. them, but those are not public record. And so what happens with an employee in a disciplinary sense, that's not for everyone to know. But why do we have to focus so much on that part? Can't we just talk about an apology? Right. It's like, I'm sorry. I mean, but I, it's two words. Can we ask him if ask he's... Him, well, I'd like, you're his supervisor. He's I'm already not, shown no, com- not, complete not. disdain for me. Well, you're in a supervisory capacity, right? On the departments over with that I oversee. Engineering is not one of them. All right. So can you let him know that, that what our... Because I, I don't want it to come from me. The guy's just going to treat me like shit. I don't want to get treated like shit I told anymore. Him, you're, you're giving me your complaint. I'm taking it. I'm holding, and then you just holding can it you, close. Can, can you go speak to him? Not to him. I'll, I'll talk to the DPW Who here? Oh, do, where is their office? Uh, 1365 Middlesex Street. Oh, so we're going to have to go down there. Okay. All right. We'll go down there. All right. Well, I, I appreciate you taking the time to, to chat with me. Um, and we'll follow back up with the... The city manager. Okay. Do you find me being disruptive? You know, there is business that has to happen in City Hall, and you're not being disruptive to me because I oh, don't excellent. mind talking to anybody. Right. Um, but, you know, where you enter a, an office and you may be, see, this is my personal opinion, but, you know, my rights end where yours begin and vice versa. And so where if you were impeding on city business, that's where I see there could be a bit of an issue with what you're doing. Um, but to come and observe what's happening in City Hall, everything we do is, uh, we, is mean, public. She said he was being disruptive. We're obviously not impeding on her business. Well, we're, tr- we're trying to... Were we just... Dis- were we so just... trying to conduct city business here. And now... Well, she, we're, we're not, we don't need her assistance anymore. But yeah. She's standing here watching and observing everything that's going on. So I would so argue that we were not being disruptive. Were we, were we disruptive she's only? Right were we disruptive? She disrupt- has just as much of course, right to be here course, as you But do. if we were being disruptive and she had other business to go about, correct, then she wouldn't be standing here anymore. She'd be going about her business. Oh, I, I reject Were we Were question. we disruptive only when we had a negative experience or were we also disruptive as well when we had a positive experience? We have plenty Trust me. Of positive disruptions? Both. We get both every day, all kinds, both kinds. Does she typically post to people that they're being disruptive when people come in here? Or She's she an exemplary employee. Right. Maybe there was a miscommunication. I, I'm sure that it was. he was speaking to her just as he's speaking to you and he was disruptive. I don't know, the sunglasses and the tattoos. Is it is it like imposing or something? Is it... No, okay. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you found me like uh, to be imposing, uh, and that made you fearful or something. Is that? I just trying to get an idea of. I like to talk it can, out. How we can do better too, right? So if we're yeah. being disruptive. How can we? Well, I think that? it's partly because you've been here. You've talked to the manager. I am working on a few things. He is no longer. He, and I am going to. All right. Yeah. Um, and I did explain that he was not available. He's at a meeting. And he would gladly meet with you. I just meant I'm getting up and down a couple times because you've been here. And but that's you got to take that up with the bad employees. If it was only Ted that was was unprofessional, I'd have only been up here once. Right. But now you get this guy that's unprofessional. I'm back here another time. So me being up here is not so much as an imposition on you. It's or more so over. It's more so of a reflection of the poor prof- poor behavior and lack of professionalism from the employees that I'm facing. Plus, I came back here at the invitation of the town manager, right. giving my feedback. City, City manager, thank you. <laughs> See, I I do like you. We're having a hard conversation. But um, you know, I do. 
You know, I do, yeah. I And I, maybe it's because I need the pills. No, he gets it from uh, me because, not the pills, but the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the difference between a city and a town, I always confuse the two. Everybody. And I, I don't I'm, know I'm why, not, I'm just but I do. Funny. And he That's used all. to have it, like, down. Yeah. And then he hangs out with me too much, and now he doesn't know People what the city is and a town is. We get mail all the time to the mayor. The mayor's not the chief executive in Lowell because we're planning. Can I speak government. to the president of Lowell? <laughs> we don't have one of those. We have a president of the Chamber of Commerce, but no, there's no president at all. So, all right. well, we're gonna follow up with uh, okay. his his boss. I'm gonna go up and, and offer an apology before I go down there well, because if he if he'd like to if he'd like to give an apology, then I mean I wouldn't go all the way down there. I think that maybe we can agree that um, he didn't act the the best way, and you know people make mistakes. I've had to apologize. And I expect no less of these folks. Mm-hmm. All right. well, Thanks very much. So much. We like you. Okay. Man, you're very likable. <laughs> Hello. My mother says that about me. Huh? Mothers lie, though. Uh, I'm not yours. <laughs> so I want to find out. See, they're giving me more things to do today. I don't want to have to go to other places in the world today. I have to go down to the parking area. Okay. I didn't take me to two hours, and it's now two I have it in my... Okay. So I'm going to go one last run. Up to, to see if he'd like to apologize. We spoke to the CFO, and you know, and, and it's you know kind of purview. I was thinking that when the city administrator or manager is out of the building, um, as is the mayor, the responsibilities deflect to him. But let's let's see if he wants to do an apology. Hey man, so we just went down to the city manager's office and that behavior isn't entirely reflective on the values here in the city of Lowell. So I wanted to offer you an opportunity to apologize. What do you say? What do you say? So you have been better off ignoring me in the beginning than to try and play verbal judo with someone with a black belt and tongue foo. That didn't work out great for you. But I'm just asking for an apology. We learned in kindergarten that when you mistreat somebody, you say you're sorry. So are you sorry for your actions? Because like I said downstairs, I'm willing to take an apology or I'm willing to take a job. But I'm going to leave Lowell with one of those two things. All right. So we'll go to, the, we'll go to your boss down the street then. Take a good look at these four walls. Have a good day, sir. Because if they don't terminate you immediately, I'll see you at arbitration, okay? You have a good day, sir. I'm going to have a great day. Are you at least sorry for your behavior? You have a good day, sir. Say have a good day, sir, if you're sorry. Sir, you have a good day. So you are sorry. Hmm. See, we came back to the third floor because we had we needed to go to the solicitor's office. And the, is that the city manager? No, that's not the city manager. And the mayor isn't in. All right. I'm going to leave my email, see if the mail wants to get back to me. He's probably not until the video drops, then he's going to get back to me. So I'm just going to leave my email. Sorry. Yes, I'm going to leave as well. Alright. Alright, thank you so much. I just wanted to leave my email if I could for sure. the man. Uh, I just had an experience. Well, first, I had a very negative experience with Ted in the tax collector's office. Yep. I spoke to the city manager. Um, he said that, that you know, I explained that we did have great interactions with everybody else. Um, and if we had any other questions, we should. Is that him? No. Hello. We should reach back out to him. Um, and then we went upstairs and met a clerk in your engineering department. 
uh, and he was like the most unprofessional you could be to somebody. And when you have 80% of your employees that are public facing, doing an excellent job in front of a camera that has over 40, 40 million worldwide views, at least, you know, put on a show. You know, don't pretend you totally abhor the public and your job. He treated us like absolute shit. Uh, in the engineering department? Yeah, and the entire world <laughs> can see it. So I would like yeah. to leave my email address if I could. Can I write it here? Yeah, you can. All right. And see if the mayor can get back to me. Um, the city manager said to go talk to him, but he seems to be at another meeting. So my offer is, I'll tell you the same offer I have that I made to him. I'm going to take his job, or I'm going to take an apology. You know, we learned in kindergarten that if we're mean, or we hurt someone's feelings, or we behave like that, that the right thing to do is say sorry. We're receiving a paycheck from the public. You know, he's getting paid to insult the people that he represents. I'd like to speak to the mayor about this. Um, that's my email address. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? Uh, Good says. Good says. Yeah. My uh, YouTube channel is Accountability for All. Maybe you can, can, can you pull it up in your computer? Sometimes there's like uh, firewalls. Can you pull up YouTube uh, in there? Uh, can you pull it up on my computer? Oh yeah, see if you, can, if you can pull it up. Just to make sure it works. It's accountability for all is my YouTube channel name. Now, I'll just see. I just yeah. passed by Ted. You did? Yeah. Is Ted I did nice? not have my camera on because I was trying to walk up here. Uh, but he was exceptionally nice. Very good. And he said, hey, I just saw you. I said, yes, you did. He was like, nice to see you again. And he was all smiles and very... Accountability for all audits. No, did, did you Same. just type in accountability for all on YouTube? Did you find it there? Yep, yep, yep. It's just loading. Up. Where is it? Oh, you got bad service in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So how many how many subscribers do I have? 124. 124K. 124,000, yeah. So, I mean, I would like the mayor to reach out to me so he has a chance for that audience right. to, to get a, a good idea of that behavior and what the redress for that kind of behavior is. All right. And this is at gmail.com, right? Yes, sir. All right. Thank and you, you already had a conversation with the city manager, right? Yeah, yeah. If I'm... Um, you know, I'll give it till... I'll give it till Friday. Okay. If I don't hear from him by Friday, I'll follow up Monday. All right. If, if the office is silent or doesn't want to deal with me, then um, that's fine. We'll just, you know... At that point, we'll have to take it at face value and, you know, feel that that behavior is condoned. But I don't think that'll be the case. You guys got a great mayor and great team, so. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. Did you hit the subscribe button? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> can, 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 you, can you hit it for me? You got it. There's great you stuff. Could be, you could be 125, man. The people are going to like it. That's good. There you go. So I got 124,000 subscribers, and I'm still. There we go. Look at you. <laughs> what a guy. Thanks very much. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for your help. You don't normally wait for people to hit the sub button. No, but so, so you were saying that you saw this guy on the way out. You saw Ted. Yes. And what did Ted say? I saw him on the way in, actually. Way in. He was walking out of his office, and I didn't have my camera on because I was walking up here. Uh, but I, he, he looks at me, and he does a double take. He's like, I just saw you. And I was like, yes, yes, you did. Hey, how's it going? He's like, good. I hope you're doing good or whatever. Some, you know, passerby stuff. But he was very nice. So good. That, that, yes. That's what we that's what we want. And so, Ted, great job for you. Thanks for apologizing or, or being nice and cordial. That's all that we expect from people. We're telling them when they're doing great and they love to hear it. And we just had this conversation before. The moment you bring up something negative, the walls start getting built. Uh -huh. We don't need it. We need people to be honest and transparent when they're dealing with the public because that's who they serve. And it's rare that you don't see the walls. Right. After there's some sort of escalation. Have an excellent day. You're wonderful. All right, so we're out of City Hall. We'll catch you in the next one. And again, for the second time, that's the reason I stopped you today.